Yo, yo, YouTube, what's up with your boy, Sports and Fitness Rants? I'm back, guys. Click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. What's up, y'all? Welcome back, guys. Welcome back, man. Got another great video for you guys today. As usual, man, you guys know the deal on this channel. We must continue to set the record straight, stop the lies, stop the narratives, stop them from rewriting the history. Hold that standard. And in this video, man, you know, I was thinking about something the other day. I did that video yesterday and I talked about Jason Kidd and, you know, I, I started talking about Steve Nash and how, you know, Kyrie Irving told Steve Nash that he should give his MVP trophy to Kobe Bryant. And I told you I was very disrespectful because Steve Nash, he really earned them trophies. Whether or not Kobe was deserving is, is irrelevant. Steve Nash was a legit player, man. Like I said, he was out there, the leader of the Phoenix Suns. That was a competitive team in that tough Western Conference for many years, man. And Steve Nash earned the, champ, uh, the MVPs. Should he have won back-to-back? -back? We could go through that. But I was thinking about something. If we take it a step further, I think it's LeBron James that really robbed or quote-unquote robbed Kobe Bryant of MVP trophies. If we really want to point the finger at somebody and say, this guy robbed so-and-so of an MVP, I think we can say LeBron James has robbed Kobe Bryant. LeBron James has robbed many players of MVP trophies. And we're going to talk about it in this video, man, because I think it's more a fair of assessment to say that LeBron James robbed Kobe Bryant of an MVP more than Steve Nash did. We're going to talk about it in this video. And I want to thank you guys, everyone across the world, everyone across the states that's been supporting my channel. Once again, guys, I am truly, truly humbled Really, really, like I said, guys, it means a lot, man. I don't just say this. You guys supporting my channel, man, with your comments, liking my videos. Like I said, subscribing to my channel, guys. It means a lot, man. So thank you to all you guys out there, man, for real. And you guys know what to do. Turn the volume all the way up. Hit that play button. Remember, these videos are for educational purposes. And let's roll. So, yes, guys, like I said, man, I did that video yesterday and I, you know, I got on the, the Steve Nash Kyrie Irving and how he said that he should give his MVPs to Kobe and he robbed Kobe and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, guys, a lot of times Steve Nash takes a lot of heat for his MVP trophies. And we get it. We get it. If you look at the, the quote unquote counting numbers, you know, like he has like the lowest points per game really for any, I believe, any MVP in the history of the game. Um, other than maybe Bill Walton, maybe or, or something like that. But he got a low, a low points per game. So a lot of people look at the numbers and they say, oh, Steve Nash, you know, he never won anything. How did this guy get MVPs? Blah, blah, blah. And yes, for Steve Nash to have win, won back-to-back -back MVPs in the era he won, sometimes it makes you scratch your head when you had guys like Jason Kidd and Shaquille O'Neal and Dirk Nowitzki and Tim Duncan and Kobe Bryant, right? You had these players in the league. But when you think about it, or when I thought about it a little bit further, I think we can all say that Steve Nash did not rob Kobe Bryant of an MVP award. I think we can say that LeBron James robbed Kobe Bryant of an MVP award or LeBron James got an MVP award over Kobe Bryant when he really probably didn't deserve it. He probably did not earn that MVP trophy over Kobe Bryant. Now, why am I saying this? Well, if we think about the MVP trophies, we think about LeBron James. He has four MVP trophies, right? He won in 2009, 2010, 2012, and 2013. Now, I've told you guys many times on this channel that to me, LeBron James should have been nowhere near the MVP race in 2012 and 2013. How the hell are you getting an MVP when you're on a super team? It don't add up. It doesn't make any sense how they could be giving LeBron James MVP votes on his stacked super team. I was not impressed with LeBron James' time in Miami. To me, he underachieved in Miami. After you promised all those championships, you won two for four, and you had the, one of the biggest choke jobs in NBA Finals history. To me, his time in Miami was not impressive. But when we think about the MVP trophies that he won in 2012 and 13, it's an absolute slap in the face to all the other players in the NBA at that time that were playing. Because once again, LeBron James was on his stacked super team that he formed, that he put together. But if we think about 2009 and 2010, right, years that Kobe Bryant did not win MVPs, but Kobe Bryant won the championship those years in the NBA. He got the most important uh, trophy in the NBA. I think we can say that Kobe Bryant should have won the MVP in 2009. I believe LeBron James uh, Cavaliers in 2009, I believe they won 66 games that year. I believe they had the best record in the NBA. But Kobe Bryant's Lakers won 65 games that season. 65 games. Kobe Bryant, I believe, averaged 27 points a game. I think five rebounds, four assists, something like that. Uh, the numbers are, are all similar. The numbers are relevant. It's the impact that Kobe Bryant had on his team. The leadership that he showed in a much more competitive Western Conference. 
okay? Kobe Bryant leading the Lakers to 65 wins in 2009, that season, and then also lead him to the title, to me, much more impressive than LeBron James winning 66 games in the Eastern Conference when you didn't really have any competition like that. So for me, I think Kobe, and I believe Kobe Bryant finished the runner-up to the MVP in 2009. So I think we can clearly say Kobe Bryant probably should have won the MVP 2009. I believe he played 78 games that season. I want to say, like I said, led the Lakers in a much tougher conference going against Steve Nash's sons and the Dirk Nowitzki Mavericks and the Tim Duncan Spurs, right? Going against these teams, the Kevin Durant OKC, right? Going against these kinds of teams in that late uh, 2000s, right? 2009 season, that conference was much more competitive and Kobe Bryant was still able, like I said, to lead his team to 65 wins, be that leader, and then lead them to a championship that season. To me, Le LeBron James winning MVP in 2009, that should have went to Kobe Bryant. The regular season, Kobe Bryant was much more clutch, was much more, was just better. Like I said, he played in a tougher conference. So to me, what his team accomplished was more impressive than LeBron James Cleveland Cavaliers winning 66 games in the Eastern Conference that year. Once again, LeBron, now listen, I know the MVP is not a postseason award, but we all know what LeBron James had underperformed in that postseason. We all know that Kobe Bryant and the Lakers beat down the Orlando Magic in the NBA Finals, the same team that LeBron James lost to. And he was the favorite in that series. 66 wins. But they gave him an MVP in 2009. And then they followed up the next season by giving him another MVP. How did Kobe Bryant not get one of those MVPs? 2009 or 2010, right? He was the best player in the NBA, man. He was leading his team to championships those seasons. But they get no, no MVP recognition. Once again, Kobe Bryant being quote-unquote robbed of an MVP. And to me, that's a greater robbery than Steve Nash's MVPs. To me, Kobe Bryant should have won at least an MVP in 2009 or 2010. Like I said, battling in that Western Conference, leading your team to the championship. Kobe Bryant was an MVP, man. And it's sad because, once again, LeBron James was basically gifted four MVPs. Four MVPs this guy was gifted, man. Four. And two of them on a super team. And they use it against Kobe Bryant. They use the MVP trophies against Kobe Bryant in his all-time rankings. But once again, we could point to the popularity or the lack of for a Kobe Bryant versus a LeBron James in the media. It's the media that votes for this stuff, guys. Remember that. We damn well know. Let's think about it this way, guys. If the players still voted for the MVP trophies like they used to back in the day, back in the 60s, right back in the 70s, they voted. The players voted for the MVP trophies. This is why guys like Bill Russell, the Will Chamberlain, the Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's, this guy Kareem was winning all these MVPs. He wasn't winning any championships. It was voted on by the players. The players voted you. So you had to earn the respect of your contemporaries, of the players around you, the guys you played with and against. You had to earn their respect for them to vote you as an MVP. But not now. The, the media votes, right? The sports writers vote. The coaches, whoever has these votes, they vote now. The players don't vote on this because you damn well know if the players were voting for MVP trophies at that time, Kobe Bryant's winning an MVP in 2009. Kobe Bryant's probably winning an MVP in 2010. He might even win MVP in 2008 if it was voted on by the players because the players understood they respected Kobe Bryant. And they knew what he meant to the Lakers, what he meant to the NBA overall, what he meant to the people, the fans of basketball, all across the world. Kobe Bryant was the real deal. He was the MVP for the Lakers. So for LeBron James to be winning an MVP or getting these MVP trophies, that's robbery. But everybody focuses on Steve Nash. They want to tear down Steve Nash. They should be talking about LeBron James in those phony MVP trophies he got. 2009, you got an MVP trophy over Kobe Bryant. He was battling in a Western Conference, a much different competition. And he carried his team to back-to-back -back titles. LeBron James had never won no back-to-back -back title in the Western Conference. And he damn sure ain't won no back-to-back -back title without a super team. He needed a stacked super team. All the odds in his favor to do back-to-back -back titles. That wasn't Kobe Bryant. But they gave an MVP to LeBron James. But no one ever talks about this stuff. 
to me, LeBron James, Rob, Kobe Bryant have at least one. Have at least one MVP. 09-2010. Kobe could have won either one of those or both of them. And once again, I told you guys, LeBron James did not deserve an MVP in 2012 and 13 on his stacked Super Heat, uh, Super Team Miami Heat. It's a joke. Giving this guy MVPs over popularity. It don't add up. But LeBron James hasn't won an MVP in his 30s. Hasn't won an MVP in his 30s. It's an absolute joke, man. I don't respect LeBron James. I don't respect the people voting for this nonsense. And that's why I've always told you guys, the MVP is one of the most narrative-driven awards since the, the media started to vote on it. When the players voted on this stuff, it wasn't a media, it wasn't a narrative. The players voted on who they respected and who they felt was the MVP of the league. Right? And to me, you, I mean, think about it. You have people that will say that LeBron James has been the best player in the NBA since 2007. People say that with a straight face. So basically what they're saying is that he was greater than Tim Duncan and Kevin Garnett and Jason Kidd, Dirk Nowitzki, Kobe Bryant. He was better than all these guys that was in the NBA at that time. He was better than all of them. It was LeBron James been the best player in the league all these years. So none of these guys deserve any MVP trophies, no consideration. But LeBron James wasn't winning. He was the greatest player in the league, but wasn't winning a damn thing. Don't add up, guys. Once again, LeBron James has been carried by the media, right? He's been pampered by the media, by the NBA, since he came in the league as the chosen one. He was chosen for the MVP trophies, not Kobe Bryant. All these years later, though, LeBron James is still asking for respect. Kobe Bryant didn't have to ask for respect. He earned it by his play on the court, right? He earned it by the way he went about his business, the way he carried himself, the way they, like I said, he showed that love of the game. He showed that heart, that it, that's inside of you, right? The Michael Jordan ad, you got that it? Kobe had that it. LeBron James, <laughs> not so much, man. So I don't know if you guys, man, know the deal, man. You guys know the deal on this channel. To me, LeBron James robbed Kobe Bryant of an MVP trophy more than Steve Nash did, man. Like I said, I, I respect Steve Nash, the way he went about his career. Like I said, leading the Phoenix Suns, being a true floor general out there, man. Steve Nash earned it in a very tough conference, man. Like I said, battling year after year after year. You know, going against, like I said, the Shaq and Kobe Lakers. You know what I'm saying? Going against the young Tim Duncan Spurs, the different variations. That was the dynasty Spurs that he was going against. 05, 07, 03. You know what I'm saying? Like, these were the dynasty Spurs. This was Steve Nash and the Suns were battling against. Like I said, the Dirk Nowitzki Mavericks that were very formidable. There were a lot of good teams, man. So shout out to Steve Nash, man. And you guys know the deal, man. These are the facts, man. There's no hate. These are the facts. LeBron James has been robbing people his entire career because the NBA has been propping him up with the lies and the narratives. Like I'm saying, the NBA has been propping up with the foul calls and all this stuff. And he always gets the MVP calls. He always gets the benefit of the doubt. He always gets the excuses made for him, man. And he has robbed Kobe Bryant of multiple MVPs, at least one. You guys know the deal, man. I'll catch you guys on the next one.